वेलकम टू साइंस स्टोर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस forget to like our video and subscribe our youtube channel for all the updates hello dear students and welcome to ctg classes of trigonometric functions uh, today we are uh, beginning uh, with the proper uh, trigonometric functions uh, all right so let us just look at a few uh, highlights of this chapter so let's understand the synopsis the summary of the uh, chapter well uh, you have uh, Uh, this uh, formula which is also called uh, periodicity of uh, trigonometric functions all right so for every uh, one rotation for every one rotation you will repeat the values understand so this is 90 degree this is 180 and uh, 270 and this is again 360 so you are coming one full rotation all right so now uh, you have sin 0 is 0 correct sin pi is 0 again when you come to sin 2 pi that is 0 is it not uh, what about uh, uh, cos all right so what about the cos when you come one full rotation you come to the same imagine i'll take an example 30 degree all right so pi by 6 so what is uh, sin uh, if you are taking n 0 okay then this whole thing is 0 that means only sin pi by 6 remains sin pi by 6 is sin pi by 6 same but if you take n is equal to 1 n is the integer here all right so uh, n belongs to the integers <coughs> imagine you are taking uh, n is equal to 1 then this will be 2 pi what do you mean by 2 pi 360 degree all right so this is 2 pi plus pi by 6 so how does it look so you are starting here so till here it is pi by 6 now you are coming one full rotation that is 2 pi and then pi by 6 that means you are coming here itself at the same angle correct all right so that will be equal to sin pi by 6 obviously okay so after one full rotation they repeat they repeat all right so that's the first formula please remember that uh, so this is uh, 360 into n that way also can be written please understand see 2 pi is 360 degree so this formula can also be written as 360 degree into n means the same okay so remember that way also uh, next uh, uh, if uh, sin theta is zero i mean for what values of uh, theta you will get sin theta zero you will get it for uh, uh, zero if n is zero correct you will get it for pi what about 2 pi yes sin 2 pi is 0 sin 3 pi is 0 4 pi is 0 so for all integral values of pi you will get sin theta is equal to 0 what about cos where cos is 0 at 90 correct so if this is 0 0 then pi by 2 but if it is 1 n if n is 1 2 plus 1 is 3 3 pi by 2 which is here so there also cos is 0 Once again, when you go there, five pi by two, correct? Plus one eighty degree, seven pi by two. So, in all those places, you will get cos zero. So, this is odd multiples of pi by two. So, for all those odd multiples of pi by two, you will have cos theta zero. Okay. So, if cos theta is zero, don't think theta is ninety only. it can be 270 okay it can be again uh, uh, 5 pi by 2 7 pi by 2 it goes on like that well so uh, next uh, we have three identities the basic identities all right so basic identity is the first one these two are the derivatives of them okay you can uh, get these uh, formulas from the first identity itself so you know how right so sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1 now if you divide uh, by cos okay cos square if you divide by cos square sin square by cos square is tan square cos square by cos square is 
1 by cos square is secant square. If you divide by sin square, sin square by sin square is 1, cos square by sin square is cot square, 1 by sin square is cosec square. All right. So, uh, if you just remember the first one, other two you can get from the first. Uh, well, so the next uh, uh, we'll uh, look at uh, the domain and range of the trigonometric function. These are also a uh, very uh, important things uh, to be remembered. All right. So now, uh, what do you mean by domain? The input value. If you take this as y, let us say, then uh, the theta values are the domain values. Okay. For sine theta, this is the domain. That means you can take any real number in place of theta. You can take any real number, but the output that you get will always be between minus 1 and 1 only. You will never get greater than 1. Please remember this. So, if you have a question like, uh, if you have a question like uh, sin theta is equal to 2, what is theta? What is theta? There is no value of theta for which sin theta is 2, you will never get a value of theta there. You put any real number, your output value, the y value will never be greater than 1. Okay, It will never be greater than 1. It cannot be 1.001 also. It has to be 1 or less than 1 Okay, and it has to be uh, more than minus 1. It cannot be minus 1.001 also it cannot be minus 2 also okay it cannot be minus 2 it should be between minus 1 and 1 any value between them it can be 0 0.1 0 0.001 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.675 or whichever okay between them all the real numbers yes uh, next uh, cos theta is similar all the real numbers it takes as input and output uh, will be between minus 1 and 1 and here tan theta, what is the input value? The input value will be all the real numbers, but not all except uh, odd multiples of pi by 2 because tan theta is, yes, sin by cos, right? So, tan theta is uh, sin theta by cos theta. Now, look at cos theta, all right. So, for what values cos theta is defined? cos theta is defined for any real number, but for what values cos theta is 0? Okay, so, cos theta is 0 for odd multiples of pi by 2 or not, correct. Okay, so, you cannot have denominator 0, remember that, okay, because this is a rational function. So, in a rational function, you cannot have the denominator 0. If the denominator 0, then this tan theta is not defined. Okay, that means that value of theta cannot be the domain value, right. So, what do you mean by domain for which the function is defined? Okay, if the function is not defined, that cannot be the domain value. You cannot put that value in place of theta here. So, which values you cannot put? The values for which cos theta becomes 0. So, denominator should not be 0. So, avoid these values, do not put 90 degree do not put 270 degree and uh, multiples of uh, I mean odd multiples of 90. Okay, So, do not put them. Next, what about sec theta? Sec theta is also 1 by 1 by cos theta, right? So, this is 1 by cos. Once again, denominator should not be 0. Therefore, you should not have these values in place of theta. So, all the real numbers except these. Then cosec, uh, what is uh, cosec theta? 1 by sin theta, right? Now, where sin theta is 0? Sin theta is 0 if theta is n pi. So, n pi means uh, it can be 0. If you put 1, then pi 2 is 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi, 6 pi, all those. So, for all those values, sin theta will be 0. So, avoid those values. So, all the real numbers minus n pi. So, except n pi, you can put any real number uh, similarly for cot because cot is cos by sin. In the denominator, you have sin. So, sin should not be 0. Well, so and uh, what is the range of tan? 
because tan 90 is infinity correct okay so similarly you will get negative infinity also so you get positive infinity negative infinity so all the values all the real numbers are present uh, as the uh, range the output values okay then for cosec uh, i mean for sec and cosec okay you will not get the values between minus 1 and 1 you will not get these values so you'll get less than minus 1 greater than 1 greater than 1 all right so then for cosec also similar you will not get values between minus 1 and 1 but cot and tan you will always uh, you will get any real number you can get any real number there well so that is about uh, uh, domain and range so uh, next uh, let us uh, look at uh, a few uh, formulas uh, which are very essential before we go into the problems so let us just have a look at them and then uh, we will uh, go to the next uh, uh, examples. Uh, well, dear students, uh, let us look at the sign of trigonometric functions. Uh, you need to uh, just remember this uh, uh, picture in your mind, uh, alright. So, divide uh, into four quadrants here, uh, that is from 0 to 90 degree you have the first quadrant and from 90 degree to 180 degree you have the second quadrant from 180 degree to 270 all right so you have the third quadrant and then uh, once again till uh, 360 degree that is 2 pi radian you have the fourth quadrant in the first quadrant all the trigonometric functions totally six functions all of them are positive all right what about in the second quadrant second quadrant sine and cosec are positive all others are negative okay all the remaining four trigonometric functions are negative in the second quadrant except sine and cosec uh, what about in the third quadrant uh, third quadrant you have tan and cot all right are positive uh, then uh, in the uh, others are negative obviously then fourth quadrant you have cos and sec okay so uh, cosine and uh, secant are positive and the uh, rest of the four functions are negative in the fourth quadrant all right so please remember this you can remember this like all yes no so student t take coffee all right so all student take coffee so first uh, all second uh, yes so sign and what is its uh, uh, reciprocal okay so sine and cosec are reciprocals of each other correct okay so cosec is 1 by sin all right so they are the reciprocals of each other uh, reciprocal function then uh, what about um, tan and cot they are also reciprocals of each other tangent and cotangent all right and uh, here cos and sec so sec is 1 by cos cot is 1 by tan so they are the reciprocals of each other so the function sine and its reciprocal are positive so all student uh, students take coffee or chocolate uh, whatever a word you want to select so that's the easiest way to remember aas tc all right so all students take coffee that we can remember this diagram in your mind this is very important when we go to allied angles also okay so please keep this picture in your mind and one more thing i want to say see this uh, cosec and sine are reciprocals of each other okay now what do you mean by co function all right so understand this co-function very clearly so first uh, you have sine okay that is the full form of that we just write s i n okay and you have cosine what is this cosine cos right and then uh, you have tangent we call it as tan and what is its co function cotangent and what is the short form c 
COT, 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 cotangent it is actually, all right. And then uh, you have secant, secant we write it as uh, sec and then we have cosecant. So, that we write it as cosec, all right. So, these are the co-functions of each other, cos and sin, sin and cos, okay. They are co-functions of each other, tan and cot, tan and cot are co-functions of each other. Similarly, secant and cosecant are co-functions of each other. Please understand this very clearly. Co-functions are not reciprocals always, okay, uh, except these tan and cot are reciprocals of each other, but secant and cosecant are not reciprocals, correct? Secant and cos, secant and cos, cosine are reciprocals of each other because secant is 1 by cos, alright. So, these are the co-functions, get that clearly. Now, uh, come to the allied angles, what do you mean by allied angles? Two angles are said to be allied angles if their sum or difference is either 0, okay, their sum should be 0 or their difference must be 0 or that should be a multiple of 90 degree or 5 by 2, right. So, that should be a multiple of 90 degree. Alright, so there is some or you can have minus also here. So, this can be plus or minus, ok. You can have plus or minus, alright. So, sum or difference should be either 0 or it should be a multiple of 90 degree. Uh, then they are called allied angles. So, understand how to find any trigonometry, what is T here, any trigonometric function, uh, it can be sin, cos, uh, uh, tan, cot, sec or cosec, anyone. We can uh, write the trigonometry ratio of the allied angle we, uh, by just knowing these two rules, all right. So, you do not have to learn those by heart. You can just remember the rules and get any uh, trigonometric ratio of the allied angle. So, what are the rules? So, first uh, you have to check quadrant of n pi by 2 plus theta or minus theta plus or minus theta all right so i'll give the example so understand the example here i want to find sin of pi by 2 minus theta okay so i want to find the answer of it so is it allied yes because their difference is 90 Okay. So, you can uh, put theta here, okay. you can put theta here, uh, uh, whichever angle you want. Okay. Uh, now, I want to find this. So, first I should check the sign positive or negative. Okay. So, check the quadrant of this. So, where is this pi by 2 minus uh, this is 90 degree, 90 degree plus 10 let us say 90 degree plus 10 will be uh, 100 that is in the second ok up to you, but 90 degree minus 10 9, minus 1 minus 2 or minus 45 whichever. So, that will be acute angle right. So, that will be in the first quadrant ok. So, that will be less than 90 less than 90 right. So, theta is acute theta is acute. So, you have the quadrant as the first quadrant ok. So, if you have the first quadrant what about sign of sign. So, what is uh, the sign of uh, this trigonometric function sign positive or negative? It is positive because all are positive here. So, this is positive write that first. So, first rule is done. Now, what about the second rule to get the trigonometric function? So, do you write sign or any other trigonometric function? How do you know? Okay. So, if uh, n is odd then you have to write the co-function ok or uh, and if uh, n is even if n is even you have to write the same trigonometric function it does not change. So, trigonometric function remains unchanged. So, do not change it if n is even. Now, what about n here n is this ok. So, what about n here n is 1. So, if you have odd then you must change it and change it to what? Its co-function, whose co-function? 
को फंक्शन ऑफ साइन सो वॉट इज द को फंक्शन ऑफ साइन हियर को साइन कॉस सो यू मस्ट राइट कॉस एंड टीटा प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस रूल यू कैन गेट द ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शन ऑफ एनी अलाइड एंगल सो इफ आई नीड कोसेक राइट सो आई राइट थ्री पाई बाई टू माइनस टीटा और इन दिस केस प्लस टीटा लेट से ओके सो नाउ फर्स्ट लुक एट द क्वाड्रेंट ऑफ दिस थ्री पाई बाई टू एंड प्लस टू सेवेंटी प्लस टेन टू एटी टू नाइंटी एंड ऑल दोस दैट विल बी इन द फोर्थ क्वाड्रेंट राइट सो इन द फोर्थ क्वाड्रेंट वॉट अबाउट कॉसेक ओनली कॉस एंड सेक आर पॉजिटिव कॉसेक इज नेगेटिव सो राइट माइनस एंड देन द सेकेंड रूल लुक एट द वैल्यू ऑफ एन हियर इज इट पॉज ऑड और इवन इज इट इज ऑड ऑड बिकॉज यू हैव थ्री हियर सो इफ इट इज ऑड वन सेकेंड राइट द को फंक्शन सो वॉट इज द को फंक्शन ऑफ कोसेक सिकेंट दिस इज को सिकेंट सो सिकेंट सेक सो सेक टीटा इज द आंसर एंड माइनस सेक टीटा वेल सो इन दिस वे यू कैन गेट द ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शन ऑफ एनी एलाइड एंगल जस्ट बाय रिमेंबरिंग दीज टू रूल्स सो प्लीज प्रैक्टिस दैट ओके दैट विल बी हेल्पफुल इंस्टेड ऑफ लर्निंग एवरीथिंग बाई हार्ट ओके वेल सो लेट्स uh uh look at some of the important formulas uh next uh well uh, look at uh, uh, trigonometric functions uh, of sum or difference of two angles all these formulas are uh, well known to you but let's uh, uh, just uh, uh, recall them very quickly all right uh, we need these formulas uh, very much uh, for all the uh, problems uh, all right so uh, any one of these formulas okay uh, well so the first formula is cos x plus y so uh, you already know how to find the trigonometric functions of allied angles okay so now now uh, we'll uh, 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 start uh, recalling the formulas uh, the first is cos x plus y cos x cos y minus sin x sin y you have uh, learned that proof uh, with the uh, 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 geometrical uh, figure okay so geometrical proof of this uh, in the board syllabus okay so please keep that diagram in your mind okay keep that diagram in your mind and uh, remember this formula you know how to get this formula right so from this formula we get all the others so this is the basic formula cos x cos y minus sin x sin y in the next formula what are we doing in place of y we are just uh, substituting minus y okay so this will become cos of minus y cos of minus y is cos y yes and in place of y again minus y therefore sin of minus y is minus sin y that minus uh, will come here so minus and minus will become plus all right so uh, if you have minus here you will have plus this is the way you can remember and this is cos cos sin sin when you come to sin x plus y you have sin cos cos sin and if you have plus that will be plus itself in the uh, right hand side and if you have minus in the left hand side you will have minus sin cos cos sin well so next uh, what about tan x plus y so tan x plus y is you know the derivation correct so tan should be written as sin x plus y by cos x plus y then uh, sin x plus y and cos x plus y have to be written and then divide uh, so as to get one here okay so now what is the formula tan x plus tan y 1 divided by 1 minus tan x tan y and if you have minus these signs will change you will have minus okay plus and plus in the numerator if you have minus L, uh, in the lhs minus in the numerator but plus in the denominator uh, but when you come to cot it is reverse if you have positive then here negative and then positive here okay so uh, see this is just uh, inverting first and taking to the other side so tan x tan y here cot x cot y in the numerator and then minus 1 just like this okay so you just compare and learn so positive becomes negative or positive if you have cot okay but in the denominator positive cot x plus cot y cot y plus cot x same but when you come to minus so cot y minus cot x 
don't make a mistake of writing cot x minus cot y that's therefore i wrote cot y plus cot x here okay so please remember this compare them and learn okay so minus then you will have plus here but minus in the denominator okay uh, well the next thing cos 2x you have got four formulas and all the four are important please remember don't think only the first is sufficient no okay so you can get these formulas from the first itself i agree but if you know them specifically then you can do the uh, you can solve the problems quickly okay well the first formula is cos square x minus sin square x what is cos square x plus sin square x 1 but if you have minus then it will be cos 2x right okay then uh, see sin square can be written as 1 minus cos square so cos square plus cos square will be 2 cos square and similarly cos square is 1 minus sin square minus sin square minus sin square 2 times okay minus 2 sin square and uh, if you divide say this is divided by 1 so 1 can be replaced by cos square plus sin square then uh, if you divide by cos square you will get 1 minus tan square divided by 1 plus tan square uh, sin 2x there are only 2 2 sin x cos x the first one and 2 tan x divided by 1 plus tan square if you have 1 minus tan square then it is tan 2x know the difference okay so uh, tan 2x you will have positive in the denominator uh, sin 2x sorry and tan 2x you will have negative minus sign in the denominator so numerator is the same okay so there are some similarities you see this is 1 plus tan square sign also 1 plus tan square okay well next uh, uh, 3x formulas uh, sin 3x uh, is 3 sin first 3 sin minus 4 sin cube but if you have cos 3x then cube first with 4 okay so 4 cos cube minus 3 cos sin sin cos cos that will be same and if you have tan if you have tan then you will get 3 tan x okay 3 tan x minus tan cube divided by 1 minus 3 tan square okay so 3 tan x minus tan cube x so this is tan x plus tan x plus tan x minus tan x tan x uh, tan x into tan x into tan x three times this is addition that is multiplication of tan x all right so this is three times tan x minus tan cube x and one minus three times tan square x tan square x plus tan square x plus tan square x all right so that's the way uh, you can uh, remember this okay so that is about first 14 formulas we have totally 22 formulas let's continue and look at the next formulas uh, well look at the next uh, uh, formulas the 15th one uh, you have cos a x plus cos y all right so if you have or you can say cos a plus cos b also does not matter ok cos x plus cos y is 2 cos x plus y by 2 cos x minus y by 2 all right so what way you can remember see this is c c Okay, you can also say c plus c if you need then that will be 2 c c ok so 2 cos and cos but x plus y by 2 x minus y by 2 you have to remember and here this is a c minus c will be minus 2 yes yes ok and here yes plus yes is 2 yes c and this is yes minus yes that will be equal to 2 c s so that's the way you can remember these formulas okay that's one of the ways you can uh, have your own uh, uh, abbreviation okay so this is uh, one of the methods to remember easily uh, remember if you have cos x minus cos y that will be minus 2 sin and then sin okay so uh, that is the first uh, set of formulas the second set the second set you have uh, 19 to 22 enough the first one 2 cos x cos y so i'll just explain how to get that formula then you will know or you will devise a method to remember it all right 
So, look at this uh, you have cos x plus y plus cos x minus y in the RHS. I will take that and get the LHS. Okay. So, cos x plus y plus cos x minus y is not it. Now, what is cos x plus y? It is uh, cos x and then cos y and minus sin x sin y correct plus what about cos x minus y that is cos x uh, cos y and if you have minus you will have plus here and then sin x sin y. Now tell me what cancels here minus sin x sin y and plus sin x sin y will cancel. So what about this that is 2 times cos x cos y this is so simple very simple formula all right. So remember these things you can get these things very easily very easily just uh, mental calculation you will know the answer ok. So uh, always go for the RHS and then remember the LHS but in the problems how do we use we use this way what is cos x cos y if we have multiplication how to convert it to addition or subtraction this is very useful in integration ok. So, because when you have integration of the multiplication you have to use formula of integrals by parts. So, that will be difficult instead of that we can go for addition or subtraction you can integrate them separately that will be very easy. So, there these formulas are very handy ok, uh, but remember them uh, now itself ok. So, remember first RHS and then LHS that way you can remember these formulas easily well. So, uh, that is it about the formulas now let us begin with the examples. Uh, well, dear students uh, let us uh, have a look at the first example alright. So, first example of trigonometric functions as such uh, if m is equal to sin x plus cos x and n is equal to secant x plus cosecant x sec x plus cosec x then what is n ok. So, that can be expressed as one of these ok. So, n is expressed in terms of m alright. So, how can you express it look at the options you have numerator m or 2 m denominator invariably or oh, everywhere you have m square correct. So, you have to have m is already there. So, we need m square if you understand what is m square then we can make sense out of this alright. So, start with the m square. So, m is here. So, let us write it sin x plus cos x the whole square that is equal to a plus b whole square formula. So, sin square plus cos square plus 2 sin cos well what is sin square x plus cos square x obviously 1. So, this is 1 plus 2 sin x into cos x. So, uh, let us uh, uh, have what is m square minus 1 ok or 1 minus m square alright. So, 1 minus m square you will have m square is equal to that, but uh, that does not work out understand see this is m square all right keep this in mind. So, if you bring that minus 1 here it will be m square minus 1, but if you take this m square to the other side 1 minus m square then this will be negative minus 2 sin x cos x well that is also accepted all right. Now, now we will go through the options and check what gives us n. See n is equal to this right. So, this quantity must be equal to n ok. So, if you go through the options we will understand which option gives us n. So, let us start with first you have uh, m divided by m square minus 1 what is m? m is uh, sin x plus cos x divided by m square minus 1. So, what is m square minus 1? See m square and minus 1. So, if you have m square minus 1 
that is equal to 2 sin x cos x. So, m square minus 1 is 2 sin x cos x. See if 2 was not there, you could take the denominator here, sin would cancel, 1 by cos would be uh, secant and you can take this denominator here, cos would cancel, 1 by sin will be cos x, you would get that. But 2 is there. So, that is causing a problem now. So, we need to cancel that 2. That means, we should have 2 here, correct? So, which option is correct? If you have m, that is not sufficient. We must have m square minus 1, I agree, because you are not getting minus n, you are getting positive, okay? So, you should have 2 in the numerator. So, where do you have 2? Therefore, option C, you must go to. So, if you go to option C, now this cancels, you can split this how you can split this you know sin x uh, and denominator must be taken here right. So, this is uh, sin x into cos x and plus cos divided by you have got uh, sin and then cos. So, here cos cancels out here sin cancels out 1 by cos is uh, secant and 1 by sin is uh, cosecant. So, did you get n? Yes. So, n is equal to 2m min, uh, divided by m square minus 1 that is option C. All right. So, this is just a, a way of going through the options. Let us go to the second question. Uh, look at the second question uh, students, you have sin theta plus cos theta into tan theta into cot theta, uh, you can multiply, okay. tan theta can be written as sin by cos, that will be sin square by cos, it becomes complicated, right. So, what you can do is, you can get this in the simplest trigonometric functions, see what are the simplest trigonometric functions, the basic ones, sin and cos, all the remaining four can be generated using sin and cos, correct. 1 by sin is cosec, 1 by cos is uh, uh, secant and sin by cos is tan, cos by sin is cot. So, sin and cos are the basic ones. So, get the whole expression in the basic trigonometric functions that is sin and cos. So, what you must do here? Uh, you have tan, right? So, in place of tan, we shall write uh, sin by cos. So, that is what I am writing here sin theta by cos theta plus cot. What is cot? Cos theta by sin theta. So, next uh, we will simplify this part. You can take the LCM. So, the LCM is uh, cos theta into sin theta and this will be sin square theta and here cos square theta right and this remains the same. Uh, next uh, what is sin square theta plus cos square theta 1. So, replace 1 there. So, this will be sin theta plus cos theta into 1 by cos theta into sin theta correct. So, if you multiply this with 1 that will be the same. So, this is whole divided by this is whole divided by sin theta into cos theta. Now, what you can do? Yes, separate it. So, take the denominator here. So, sin theta divided by sin theta cos theta plus cos theta divided by uh, sin theta cos theta. So, what happens here? You will get 1 by cos that is uh, secant theta and then plus cosec theta 1 by sin. Well, so which option is that? Secant theta plus cosec theta? Yes, the option C. So, option C is the right answer for second question. Let us move to the third one. Uh, if 
8 sin theta is equal to 4 plus cos theta then one of the values actually I'll get two okay you will see how uh, but one of the values is given in the options and which uh, is the right choice let's uh, go for it so 8 sin theta is equal to 4 plus uh, cos theta what am I doing here is uh, 8 sin theta minus 4 is equal to cos theta is what I am writing. Okay. Next uh, I am squaring both sides. All right. So, what is this that will be cos square theta. Next uh, A minus B whole square formula. So, this will be 64 sin square theta uh, minus uh, 2 into 2 AB right. 2 into 8, 16 into uh, 4, you have uh, uh, 64 sin theta and then plus b square 16. That is equal to understand what is cos square. Uh, what do we need? We need the value of sin. So, we do not need cos, express that cos in terms of sin. Okay. You know that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Therefore, what is cos square theta? The sin square must be taken to the other side that would be 1 minus sin square. So, cos square is 1 minus sin square theta. Uh, well, uh, now, now uh, you have uh, sin square and here you have four, uh, 64 sin square and this is minus sin square. Bring it to the other side. So, that will be 64 sin square theta and plus sin square theta minus 64 sin theta and plus 16 bring that one also this side to this side so that is minus 1 and only 0 remains there. So, we are getting a quadratic equation now look at this this is 64 sin square theta uh, 64 plus 1 I am sorry that is 65. Then here nothing changes 64 itself uh, 16 minus 1 you are getting 15. Now factorize this this is like 65 x square minus 64 x plus 15 okay uh, is equal to 0 quadratic equation you have to factorize it. So, how do you do it understand right multiply so that is uh, 65 into 15. See what are the factors here? What are the factors you have uh, separated divide by 5? So, that will be 13 into 5 and 15 if you split 3 into 5, correct? Now, now I will keep this 13 here itself and if I multiply these 3, 5 into 5, 25 into 3, 75. This is the second type of uh, splitting that is the first one right. So, uh, 65 plus 15 or minus 15 are you getting minus 64? No, you do not get right. Then uh, 75 minus uh, 13 are you getting 64? Mm, no. Then now uh, what else is possible understand? I will take uh, 13 and 3. Okay, so, if I take 13 and 3, 39, then 5 and 5, 25. Now, what about this? Is it the required one? What about 39 plus 25? What do you get? So, are you getting 64? Uh, yes, you are getting 64, right? So, that is what we need. Therefore, this works, this works. So, this is the way you can find, do it little quicker. Okay, anyway, now let us continue. Uh, see you have 65 sin square theta and what are you writing in this place you are writing minus 39 minus 25. So, this is minus 39 sin and minus 25 was sin theta. Well, I hope you understood this right. Next is the usual uh, factorization. So, separate them uh, how much uh, you can uh, take common 13 correct 
so 13 and sine so here what remains is 5 sine and then here 3 so minus 3 sine theta and here you can take 5 and minus so 5 minus 5 sin theta then here what remains is 5 sin theta minus uh, minus uh, I'm sorry I'm sorry here 13 is out and sin is out so it is only minus 3 correct so here also minus 3 and that is equal to 0 well Uh, so, let us continue now 13 so take this common 5 sin theta minus 3 that is out. So, what remains here is 13 sin theta and minus obviously 5 sin theta and that is equal to 0 that means you have a product of two factors is 0 that means either the first factor is 0 or the second is 0 right ok both need not be 0 any one of them is 0. So, or even both can be 0 but at least one must be 0 or 13 sin theta minus 5 sin theta is equal to 0. So, what is the implication of this? So, this implies So, this implies that uh, 5 sin theta is equal to 3. So, hence uh, sin theta is 3 by 5 or 13 sin theta is uh, what am I writing that is 5 right that is 5 <sighs> sorry. So, this is 5 please make the correction that is 5 I am sorry. So, this is 5 is equal to 0. So, sin theta is equal to 5 by 13 alright. So, you have got two options either 3 by 5 or 5 by 13. Do you have 3 by 5 in the options? You do not have that in the options. So, what you have in the options is only this. So, that is the right choice and 5 by 13 is in the first option itself. So, first option is the right answer. So, I am sorry for the uh, glitches here. So, please make a correction. Okay. So, answer is the first option. So, thank you very much for, for watching this videos. All right. So, please uh, uh, go through this very uh, quickly okay. and clearly uh, meticulously uh, note down the points. All right. So, if you did not understand go back again and watch it again you will surely understand and practice as many questions as possible from various sources you will excel in this chapter. So, only by practice you become perfect. So, thank you very much. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe our YouTube channel for all the updates.